This was added in Brookhaven's latest update, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys things you haven't seen about this update, as well as a bunch of secrets and bugs that I've discovered. I'll even be showing a way for you to put textures in Brookhaven's vehicles. So this is the new mansion we got in the latest Brookhaven update. If you still didn't get it, this one is made for the game's summer update. That's why it has such a fun pool like this one. Normally in these summer updates, at least the past couple of years, we've been getting this slide over at Lake Madison. Here you're able to choose one of the options and slide down until you find yourself back in the ground. This update has got to be the best! I agree, Bacon, but they could have added both this house and the slide. That would have been cooler. True that! At least this new house has this really pretty kid's water park. There's a stage if you're willing to put out a show. We also got a basketball course if you want to play ball. Why don't we see who's the better player, Nando? Let's do this, Bacon. I'll probably win since I'm just the best ever. You can go first then! If you say so, just watch. Here we go! Take that! Oh, damn! It just hit the brim! Let me try that again, this time with a little jump! I missed a second time! Why are you so bad? Don't worry, Bacon. This one's gonna go straight into the hoop. Look at that! I actually got it! Score, I win! You may not know, but in school they called me Michael Jordan. Who even is that guy? It's one of the best basketball players, dude. How don't you know that? Now it's Bacon's turn. Let's see how our boy will do. Is he any good at this? Let's see! Oh, he missed that one! Next shot, is this gonna go his way? Nope, he hit it right in the backboard. Here's my last shot! Oh gosh! You threw it into the streets, my dude! That was so bad! I'm sorry to say, my dude, you're not good at this game at all. If you didn't know, this water park has these buttons right here. Clicking this blue button will activate the lights inside the pool, but to see it better, I'll have to turn it into nighttime. Look at how this looks now, it's so cool. There's also this little pillar we can click to turn these things into fountains, ain't that awesome? Can't forget about the diving board, we can even jump on it while lying down to do the same bug as we can in the public pool. You'll also have fun in these slides they have. Where did Bacon go? Oh, he's just swinging in this hammock. I'm just resting for a little bit. I hope you're comfortable there, buddy, seems like a cozy little place. We can't forget about the grill. We can even open it up for a barbecue. I can put a bunch of meat into it. Then we just need to up the temperature a bit. Just don't do it too much. Because in that case, you'll start a fire. Don't even touch this fire if you know what's good for you. That food smells so good. Oh gosh, help me. I'm on fire. Good gosh, Bacon. Go jump in the pool. You need to put that out right now. Go ahead, dude. That can hurt you a lot. Be careful with stuff like that. The fire even took a while to get off of you. I'm feeling good now. While Bacon is refreshing himself up, let me show you something I didn't in the other videos. In this new house, we actually have that whole disaster system. I haven't tried it out though, I think we can start with the flood as well as the fire. I want to see how that even looks. Look at all that! Every part of this house is flooded now! A lot of it is also on fire now, of course the grill is as well. I'm curious about how this water looks from outside the entrance. Well, I guess it just bugs out at the end here, the water stops right there. No gravity affects it at all. That's just Brookhaven being Brookhaven, I suppose. Now what would happen if we go back into the disaster controls? And just deploy every which one of these into our home? We'll have ghosts, zombies, a blackout, everything you can think of will happen with this place. I'm not sure this was a good idea. We gotta get out of here. What's going on, Nando? Good gosh! We've literally destroyed the new Brookhaven house, guys. Aliens are attacking. Zombies as well. Everything is against this place right now. I didn't even talk about all the fire going around and all the bugs flying everywhere around here. I think I'll need to make my way into it and push those buttons back to off. As you can see, I'm ready to work. I'll just go like this. If you say so, that's kind of crazy if you ask me. Bacon doesn't care about his life. Whoa! That lightning was close. These buttons aren't even working anymore. There's sparks coming out of it. At least I can still use the disaster panel. We gotta get everything out of here, please. I think I got them all turned off now. They're already beginning to die down as we can see. Now I just need to fix the fire I made over at the grill. There we go. Now our house is 100% saved. We did it! You didn't even do anything? I know! Back to talking about the house. This place doesn't really hide much in it. In other places, you'd find some paper or something hidden behind boxes like these, but nothing can be found on these ones. I showed it in a prior video, but the way to get into this house is safe is fairly simple, actually. You just need to sit down in this beach chair and a secret passage will open right behind it and you'll find it over there. This one's pretty well hidden. You'd never guess if I didn't say it. So I was just strolling around and I found this guy just dancing behind me. What does he want? You'll have seven years of bad luck if you don't leave your like in the video and subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds. Go do that fast guys. You don't have much time. I actually discovered a secret passage inside this house that most people don't know about. To do that, we'll actually need the sleeping bag. With it in hand, we just need to place it in this corner of the pool. If we did it right, we should go through and find ourselves just outside the pool's geometry. It's quite a cool place if you're trying to spy whoever's having fun in the water. You could also use it as a sweet hiding spot. But that's all it got. It's just an empty little place that not many people know the existence of. The next secret I've discovered is a speed glitch for our vehicles. To do that, we need to choose one ourselves. I'll grab this pickup truck, but it can be any other. Going into the car's settings, first off, if you have the game pass, you'll be able to put the speed up to 200. As well as getting turbo stage 3, you should also click on these springs to mess with the car's suspension. If we try driving around like this, we already look pretty fast, but this isn't exactly the fastest we can go, because if we get our 
claws and bring it to the edge of the map, right in the ocean's barrier. We need to place it just right so we have space to go from here. This one's a lot like that ladder glitch from before. That makes your car go real fast. But apparently this one makes it go even faster than that. Now that we've done that, we just need to go full on reverse. And we'll see our car go as fast as never before. Look at that. It literally made a backflip on its own. I gotta be the best player of Brokehaven around. In this video, I turned myself into a baby and started trolling players as if I was a regular baby. Then out of nowhere, I refreshed my avatar and spooked the players a whole lot. They even went running away from me. This time I actually found an even better skin than that one. You probably already know what this entails. If we use this thing, my clothes will disappear and I'll practically now be invisible inside of Brookhaven. Well, kinda. My legs show up sometimes when I walk around, but that's par for the course. To make it look a bit better, I'll be using this Core Blocks Death Walk Ahead. Now if I refresh, it'll look more like this. Let me just take that head out. And now I'm looking a whole lot more invisible. It even fixes that little leg glitch, so this is perfect to troll players. Let me save that one again, then I'll grab my regular skin back. It's time to turn into a baby again. Let me get some nice clothes. I think this looks pretty nice, right? Just need to add a few details so they don't know it's me. I think the bacon hair works in my favor. The last thing I need to do is get really tiny, making me look like a little baby. In this house, they wrote, looking for friends. Would you be interested in adoption as well? Don't want to just wait outside this time. I'll make my way in. Hello, is anyone there? Mommy, daddy, someone? Since there's no one, I'll blow that safe right quick. Maybe that way we'll call the attention of the owners. I finally found a house that I've been welcomed into. We can now start getting our troll on. Let me get that invisible skin ready again. There we go. We got it. Maybe I could put on a scary face to spook the player. This one? Nah, I don't think so. What about that one? I like this one. It is like an evil little doll holding me. Let's spook this person out. They're coming out of their car right now. I'll just stand right on this corner. Will they notice me? They turned the garage's lights off. I think he's coming inside any minute now. There he is. Did he see us? Wait, I think he did. Is he not gonna say anything? Where did he even go? He's passing through again. Are you going up the stairs or not? Probably just confused on what I am. I don't blame him though. I'm a ghost. I came to haunt you. The black evil doll's ghost. How did you get in? I'm a ghost dude. That's literally what we do best. Don't you know that? Aren't you even a little bit scared? He's talking about how he helps everybody. Apparently he's giving me a new car. Well, all right then. I'd like a new car. So I get this thing and I'm out of your home. It's a good deal in my opinion. See ya. I don't like this old thing anymore. Bye bye. It surely is in a better place now. You probably already know all about the new textures for the guns. If you click on these gear icons, we can now open this menu and have access to a bunch of these textures to personalize our guns. For example, if I choose this one, we're going to have such a pretty looking gun. That's not the only one though. There's tons of textures for you to try and put in your own. Now I ask you, how would it be if we could put textures in our cars? I bet that would make our cars look a whole lot more glamorous. Right now, the only way to make modifications in our vehicles are with props. We can get things like these spoilers, as well as a bunch of other stuff to personalize it to your liking. But in this video, he's doing something bizarre. He's able to put any image into his car. The example he used was that weird head there. I tried doing what he did in as many ways as possible, but there's no real way to get that working. Since this is not possible in Brookhaven, let me see what I can do in Roblox Studio. We're already inside of it. I already got this car for us to experiment with. It'll basically be our lab rat. This map even has an image we can use, which is this President Nando picture. If you didn't see this one, I ran for President of Brookhaven. You should totally watch it. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll just click it as normal, grab that President Nando picture, and just combine the two together. It actually worked. I can't believe it. My face is literally right there. We can also put it here on the sides just to fill it up properly. We can't forget the back. There's still a few details left. Not that much though. I just logged into the map to test it out. Look at how our car came out. Wait, is this car drivable? I didn't check that first. It doesn't look like it. I'm not able to make my way inside at all. This map has a bunch of weird stuff like this gun just dropped on the floor. All these police officers just stood around in front of Brooks Diner. If I'm not mistaken, there's even a secret button next to the toilet. What would happen if I clicked on it though? Wait, what's going on? Did it all just lag out? Oh gosh, everything is just dirty now. What is this weird sound I'm hearing? I think I'll need to reset my character. It's totally bugged out. Maybe clicking that button wasn't a good idea. So that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for even more. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're totally awesome. Thank you for watching. See you later. Have a good one.